And in less than two weeks, your Kansas City Chiefs will be taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in Super Bowl 55. To make it even more special, the NFL is coming through with tickets for healthcare workers. The league is giving a third of 22,000 Super Bowl tickets to workers across the country who have received both doses of the COVID-19 vaccine. It's a way to thank them for all their hard work during the pandemic. That means 18 lucky healthcare workers from the University of Kansas Health System will be going to the Super Bowl. What an amazing way to get to represent the health system and to be a part and um, kind of celebrate what has been a, a long, hard, hard run. Certainly well earned and deserved. Healthcare workers invited by the NFL should have full immunity by the time they attend the game. Social distancing and other safety protocols are also required. And the countdown continues to Super Bowl 55. 12 days, 9 hours, 22 minutes and counting. It's right around the corner coming up on Sunday, February 7th. It'll be here before we know it. Of course, we're all hoping for a second win in a row for our Chiefs. The last time a team won back to back Super Bowls was in 2004 and 2005 when Tom Brady and the New England Patriots became consecutive champions. And it was a sea of red last year during the Super Bowl parade after the Chiefs big win. Of course, even if they pulled off again this year, something that like this just won't be possible. KBC 9's Matt Evans is live this morning to talk about how the pandemic is impacting Super Bowl celebration plans. Matt, I know like you're saying we can't jinx it, but still talking about it. Yeah, tough to talk about the uh, Super Bowl celebrations, Rob, for a couple of reasons. One, you don't want to jinx it. And then two, we all know that they're just not going to be the same as they were last year. There will not be a Super Bowl champion parade down Grand Boulevard in the days following a Chiefs Super Bowl win, if that were to happen down in Tampa. We all remember last year when hundreds of thousands of Chiefs fans packed into downtown Kansas City to see that parade and, of course, that rally at Union Station. All of this happening just a matter of weeks before the city shut down due to the COVID-19 pandemic. City leaders saying yesterday what we all expected, that this kind of celebration won't be happening right now. In a statement, Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas said, while we all wish we could celebrate a Super Bowl win down Grand Boulevard again with hundreds of thousands of fans, it would be inappropriate and irresponsible to put our players and fans safety at risk by hosting an in person celebration. We are still fighting a pandemic that has already taken nearly 2000 lives in our region alone. Chiefs President Mark Donovan also saying in a statement yesterday, the organization understands and supports the city's decision. And if the Chiefs do win in Tampa, they will quote continue to work with the experts to celebrate safely when the time is appropriate. Of course, there are a lot of options about a possible virtual celebration, about socially distant celebrations, although no plans regarding those have been released just yet. It's also entirely possible that there could be a, a, a parade down Grand Boulevard still at some point this year. It would just have to happen when the COVID-19 pandemic is over. We're live in downtown Kansas City this morning. Matt Evans, KBC 9 News. All right, Matt, thank you so much. We do want to remind you that health experts say it's important to stay vigilant right now, and also that means taking precautions even while watching the Super Bowl. When possible, stay home and watch only with members of your household. If you're going to gather with others, wear masks, stay at least six feet apart, and consider bringing your own food and utensils. Masking and social distancing are especially important if you're planning on watching the game at a restaurant or a bar. We are going to be following all the action as the Chiefs prepare to defend their Super Bowl title. Be sure to tune in on air for the latest updates. You can also visit KNBC.com or our free mobile app to get your Chiefs fix.